The only Yakima News team taking action for you. KIMA Action News starts now. Within hours of each other, one man attacked with a machete in Yakima, another stabbed in the neck. What police say the victims have in common today. Yakima County now reaching 400 people who've been killed by COVID-19. And grieve with all those who have suffered. Faith leaders meeting together to memorialize the lives lost. A verdict reached. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty. guilty! A community reacting as Derek Chauvin could face prison. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jake Taylor. Yakima police investigating a pair of vicious assaults less than four hours apart. Victims of both attacks believed to be homeless. Ryan Rogers joins us live on North 1st Street near where one of these grisly assaults happened. Ryan. Jake, shortly after 4.30 this morning, cops were called to this area along the 1700 block of North 1st Street in Yakima, and here they found a 25-year-old man bleeding from his head. Now, he says someone attacked him with a machete. Uh, the man was taken to Yakima Valley Memorial Hospital with severe lacerations to both his back and his head. Police searched for a suspect, but nobody was arrested. Then, at around 8.30 this morning, a maintenance worker at Yakima Cinema on North 16th Avenue found a man in the bushes. The 51-year-old man was covered in blood after being stabbed in the neck. He was also taken to Memorial to be treated for his injuries. Police searched the area along North 1st to the Yakima River and along the freeway, but they could not find any suspects. Now, as of tonight, there's no update on the conditions of the victims. Detectives continue to investigate, and anyone with any information on these two incidents are asked to call the Yakima Police Department or Crime Stoppers immediately. Jake. Okay, thank you very much, Ryan. Turning now to weather, pretty chilly overnight in some spots at least yesterday. Mike McCabe joining us from the Weather Center right now. Mike, will these temps stay at least above freezing tonight? No threat of